Well, you know that Miami loves a party, and the Dolphins have been delivering a festive vibe this season. Folks excited as Monday Night Football returns to the Hard Rock Stadium for the first time in six years. The Dolphins are talking Super Bowl, not droughts. Tyreek Hill, NFL's most dangerous man, the Cheetah is chasing down records and milestones we've not seen before. A special connection with that man, Tua Tungabailoa, who is thriving in hey, year two of Mike McDaniel's offense. We've got a great opportunity right here. Let's go. Let's ball out. Ball out. Ball out. Ball out. Ball out. Playing with tremendous confidence. His counterpart tonight, rookie Will Levis, grew up dreaming of playing on Monday night, makes his primetime debut, and tries for the first road win for Tennessee this season. Welcome to the progressive Monday night kickoff, Tennessee and Miami here at Miami Gardens. And great to have you with us. Chris Fowler, Lewis Riddick, Dan Orlowski, Laura Rutledge joins us after our nine bye weeks. We're back <laughs> together again tonight. It, it is festive here. You know, Miami hasn't won a division title since 08, hasn't won a playoff game in 22 seasons, longest drought in the AFC. But all things are possible if they can get that top seed and they control their destiny, Lewis. Chances are better. Yeah, they, they sure are. And look, in two short seasons, head coach Mike McDaniel has changed the mindset of this entire region from one of hope to now expectations. Expectations of winning the division, getting the top seed, and potentially even getting to a Super Bowl. And he has done it with a combination of being positive and being brilliant as far as the X's and O's are concerned. Yeah, what a five-week stretch coming up here for the five at home. You talked about the potential to control their own destiny. Get the one seed and really make sure that the road to Las Vegas goes through South Florida. This is a game they should take care of. The Titans have a one on the road. Miami's offense is especially dangerous here in Hard Rock. <laughs> and it all starts with the man they call the Cheetah. Well, actually, the guy who calls himself the Cheetah. And we haven't seen a playmaker like him in maybe decades since the days of Bo Jackson in terms of the way he can instill fear in you simply because of one thing. He's faster than you. He's much faster than you. And nothing scares defenders more than a guy that has something that your coach can't help you with. The coach can't help you get faster. He can help you play angles. He can help you tackle. But when it becomes to a foot race, the cheat is going to win every time. And that's why he is the great equalizer. And he is the guy that, even when things are going bad, you know that they can change in a hurry because he can absolutely break the game wide open with one single play. Yeah, Miami is one of the league's most innovative and exciting offenses. And while Tyreek's a huge part, it starts with the trigger man, Tua Tonga Vailoa. There's no quarterback in football right now that sees it faster. There's no quarterback in football that throws guys open more. There's no quarterback that has this one of one elite ball placement like Tua does. So you pair him with Mike McDaniel and Tyreek Hill, and you've got a quarterback that is very much so playing MVP level football. And the Titans know folks are tuning in to see the high-powered offense, but they're a little salty tonight, and Mike Grable's team will bring a physical brand of football. Key injuries on both sides. We will detail that as we come back. Kickoff from Hard Rock Stadium, Tennessee and Miami coming up. ESPN welcomes you to the following presentation of the National Football League. The sky's the limit for us. Everything's uh, right there in front of us. Just got to continue to keep stacking those wins.
been waiting. That's why there's a big buzz in the air tonight. First Monday game here since the 17th season. It's important because if you check out the AFC playoff picture, yes, Miami is two and a half games clear of the Bills in the East. They got a win to keep pace with the Ravens who had that dramatic overtime win in a pump return yesterday. Those teams will meet New Year's Eve in Baltimore. It's Miami's only remaining road game, but they do. We said control their destiny and lots of reasons for Mike McDaniel to smile these days. Of course, he is the play caller. And he's been featuring every kill early and often in games. We expect the same thing. No question about it. Look, he's one of the best game breakers that this game has seen. Like I said, the better part, maybe even two decades, the combination of speed, just excitement. He can take it the distance from anywhere. We're in for a great show. Daniel electing to. Put his defense on the field first, won the toss and deferred. So Chris Moore is deep for Tennessee as Jason Sanders boots it away. And we'll get a look at Will Levis in this struggling offense in a tough environment for visitors this season. And Moore will let it bounce right through the end zone. 